Early in the morning, we had the long-waiting eruption of the second uh, Sundunka craters uh, in the Reckoners Peninsula near the town of the Grindavik. It was like that, a huge bang, like a supernova in the dark. And it's getting near the spring, so later we had some daylight. This was early in the morning. And uh, before the, uh, anything, they just passed and it sliced through the defensive wall that we built to protect the town. And long af not long after that, we had another fissure opening just at the boundary of the town, at the suburb. It extended, lava was flowing out of it, oozing out. It formed craters, you can see, uh, kind of uh, spatter cones along the fissure. And then the huge amount of the lava pouring out. This is a basalt, this is very flowy, runny. And uh, not very sticky, actually, in that sense, and not very strong in that sense also, why it's quite hot. And the moment it reached the structures in the Grindavik uh, town, in the Elfdorp uh, area, it just burned the houses. Two houses at the moment are burning. You can see the, a little roundabout to the right side. That's where the kids probably played, or there was something for, you know, the community to, you know, to have an open space. And uh, the second house burned. And it is continuing. This is the first one you can see that is burning. Unfortunately, the house prices in Iceland are very high. So this is a valuable commodity. It's just burning the house of somebody. And the second one also you can see. This were in the suburb. This is a port. And the uh, first uh, time that we had this eruption, it was in the north. Now it is now entering the uh, slicing through the defensive wall and cutting through it. And the houses are burning in the north uh, east part of the Green Davik. Uh, <laughs> and that part doesn't have electric. The road also 43 is cut by the lava on the other side. It just flows along the defensive wall and covers the road. 